Do not, under any circumstances, download and install Final Cut Pro until you've watched this video. Final Cut is a big file and you should know what you're getting yourself into. I'll show you how big Final Cut is and along the way, I'll show you the free sound effects that come with Final Cut Pro. And if you don't wanna buy the wrong computer, stick around till the end and I'll show you the best specs for running Final Cut Pro. The first and fastest way to see how big it is is go to the App Store and search for Final Cut Pro. Click on it here and you'll see over here the size. It's 3.4 gigabytes. All right, we can verify that too by downloading the trial. I'll just click here, download now, and you can see right here down in the corner, it says it's 3.2 gigabytes. Pretty close. Let's take a look at the size of it when it's installed. So I'm in my applications folder and I've got Final Cut Pro selected here. I'll press Command I. It opens up this info window and you can see right here, installed, it's at 4.28 gigabytes. Now it's a little bit bigger because I've installed the supplemental content you get once you buy Final Cut Pro. Once you've bought Final Cut Pro, you can download these extras. It comes with sound effects and pro video formats. It's 1,300 sound effects that you can use in Final Cut Pro. And you get those right here in the audio browser and under sound effects. As you can see, there are a ton. There's sound effects, there's jingles, there's even some songs. And the sound effects supplemental content is about 1.3 gigabytes in size. That's a big file. That's a lot of sound effects. If you're excited to get your hands on that, and this has been helpful so far, will you please give this video a thumbs up? That way others will see the video too. Thanks, and in just a little bit, I'm gonna show you the perfect specs for video editing, but first, let's look at the minimum required specs Apple says you should have. In order to run Final Cut Pro, you need Mac OS 11.5.1 or later, and they suggest four gigabytes of RAM, but in a little bit, I'll show you the right amount. You also need a metal capable graphics card and at least one gigabytes of video RAM. That's the RAM that's on your video card, and that is really handy when it comes to things like 3D rendering or 8K video editing. They recommend at least four gigabytes of available disk space, and that's about right. Remember when we checked in the applications folder and it was about 4.3 gigabytes in size. So those are the minimum specs, but if you're going to do a lot of video editing, I have some recommendations for you. Let's take a look at these here. We have a MacBook Air, a MacBook Pro, and a Mac Pro. Let's go down here and look at the cores. So the Mac Air has a four core in it, the MacBook's a 12, and then the Mac Pro is 28. So your CPU, that's like the brains of your computer, it has these different number of cores in it. And the more cores, the better, or the faster it is. So when you're looking at the CPU, try and get something with more cores in it and a faster clock speed. I would say eight cores is a good start for video editing, but the sweet spot is like 12 to 16 cores. All right, let's talk about RAM. The more, the better. Apple recommends four gigabytes or eight if you're gonna do 4K editing or 3D titles. However, I recommend if you're gonna do some casual video editing, go for eight gigabytes of RAM. If you're gonna do it regularly, then go for 16. If it's your full-time job and that's all you do, then get 32 or up. All right, the next important thing is your disk type and space. I recommend a solid state hard drive. They are faster and less prone to being damaged. And you wanna make sure you have plenty of space on there. Let's take a look at my hard drive. My hard drive is one terabyte, and right now I have 560 gigabytes available. You wanna make sure and have room open on your hard drive. Otherwise, you'll get these error messages saying Final Cut Pro doesn't have enough space. So I recommend at least one terabyte solid state drive. And if you need to, you can get an external drive to expand that capacity. So Final Cut Pro is about four gigabytes in size. When you're ready to download that thick boy, check out this video right here. I show you how you can get it for free. And I'm not talking about some stolen or cracked version. 